Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is extremely special. I'm actually doing a review and a demo over one of my friend's makeup line that she just launched. She worked so hard for it. She's one of the hardest workers that I've ever met in my life. I worked with her at Ulta and then she also has a, another job and she would just go back and forth like day and night and like she's just very inspiring because of how hard working she is and inspires me to work harder and to make my dreams come true as she's doing with this makeup line. So I have all her goodies in this cute little bag. First off, her name is Luna. I'll put a picture of her right here. She's gorgeous. She's so good with makeup like her eyeshadow always looks amazing and her cosmetic line is called dub cosmetics and dub d-u-b stands for dang you beautiful it's so cute i think that's so smart i absolutely love it and i support her so much she was nice enough to gift me these products i've used some of these products over and over again multiple times already and i'm telling you like it's insane how good it is. I'm not just saying that because she's my friend, but because I I literally texted her and told her, I was like, hey, I tried this like in five different ways and I love it the most this way. Like I've given her feedback and she takes it really well and I'm just excited to use the other two products that I haven't used yet. She is local, so if you're from Oklahoma, definitely click the link down below and purchase something for her support her she is so sweet the hardest working woman i know if i didn't believe in these products i wouldn't be filming this video right now but i do i love them well i love one of them i'm gonna try the other two out today let's go ahead and get to the video because i'm really excited to show you guys these products so she has three different products out right now the first one which is the product that i've tried are the loose powders I believe it comes in three different colors. I love that her powders are versatile and it's good for anybody from a light skin complexion to a deeper skin complexion. I'm all about that. I love that. My favorite one to use is actually the translucent one. I think the banana one is a little too dark for me right now because I lost like all the color I got this summer. The next product are her brow pencils. They have Dub Cosmetics on them as well, and it's just a sleek black, which I love. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me, as well as the um, powders. Very sleek top. It just says Dub Cosmetics. Love it. It kind of reminds me of, like, NARS, because NARS has that, like, sleek black packaging as well. And then the last products are her Freestyle Liquid Lipsticks. They look like this. It's really cute. It's in like your classic cylinder like glim bottle, but if you look at it, it has like a lot of dimension inside. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like that dimension in it. I don't know how to describe it. If you were looking at it, you would understand, but again, it just says Dub Cosmetics, and then it has the shade on the bottom. So the two shades that I have are Pink Panther, which is a mauve pink, and then I also have Best of Me, and it's a berry color, like a purple berry. It's a little deeper than Pink Panther. And so if you want to follow them on Instagram, um, it's official underscore dub underscore cosmetics right here i will link it right here and in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and follow and buy some of their products so link the website down below as well if you just want to click down in the bottom bar so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go on the website and see how much everything retails for so the brow pencils retail for seven dollars the powders retail for $20. The liquid lipsticks, um, they're out of stock right now, but they retail for $15. And keep in mind, she does this all on her own. She created the products. She sells the products like it's all hers. So honestly, that's such a good deal. Um, they're not crazy expensive or anything like that. So super affordable and I love that. Uh, I'm probably not going to do any eyeshadow today. That way we can just focus on those three products. I'm going to do my brows first. I have the color brunette, blonde, and soft black. Soft black on top and then brunette brunette and then the very bottom one is blonde so I think I'm going to use brunette today so the brow pencils are super pigmented very soft um they don't pull at your brows or anything
I'm just going to use this spoolie from Benefit and brush it out. Ew, it brushes out really nice. Because you guys know I like that gradient look. Wow, you guys see how fast that was. Yes. Not so, not so good. But look how good it looks. Oh my gosh. I'm impressed, Luna. I would definitely go light-handed because they're so pigmented. You don't want to over draw your brows. I think the best way to use them is I would like fill in from like here to here and then brush out the inner part. It's so pigmented that it'll literally stretch out that far and you get that really pretty gradient look. And you guys just watch me do my brows in like 15 seconds. Wow. So if you're like me and you usually take like 30 minutes on your brows, I just cut your brow time. I'm use some of my NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the pot. I'm going to carve out my brows. They look so good. I'm actually going to set them with the Gimme Brow by Benefit. You guys know I can't live without this product. I use it every single day, no matter how I'm doing my brows. See it up close. a snatched brow if I've ever seen one. So the next thing I want to use is the loose powders. So instead of doing everything on camera, I'm actually just going to like put my base on and then we'll be right back with the powders. Okay guys, so I just applied my concealer and my foundation. Next, I'm going to be using the greatest setting powder ever and it actually comes in seven shades, which is amazing. I'm using the translucent one. I like to literally just dip my sponge in here and then I will just set right underneath until it is completely dissolved. Do you guys see how smooth my under eyes look? I can't lie. It's so smooth. And like I've seen, like I can go like this and it's just like, it literally feels so smooth, like a baby's a bottom. You guys just have to try it for your own. It's only $20 for a gray setting powder. Like Laura Mercier is like 50, so go get yourself one. I'll do it for the other side. And I like to just press it in. And so this powder actually kept me more matte than any of the powders that I personally have. I have so many powders and none of them keeps me as matte as this. Um, it could be the foundation that I used, but I just know that it looks really good. And at the end of the day, I'm not oily. I'll even put some of them down here. And then I will also set my smile lines with it. as well as my forehead. And I've tried this multiple, multiple ways and I've tried it with many different foundations. So I know that it does work very, very well. If you don't wanna use the sponge technique, you can use a brush on its own. Um, either way, I love it. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Superstay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Bronzer, highlight, blush, all that good stuff. And then we will be trying out the liquid lipstick. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have the rest of my face on. I just wanted to show you guys real quick that I do use this to clean up my contour. 
I just forgot that I have no lashes on. So, pause. And I'm going to put my lashes on and be back in three, two, all right, lashes are on. I feel like I've baked for long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush that off. The last thing that we're gonna try are the Freestyle Liquid Lipsticks. I think I'm feeling best of me. It is a doe foot applicator. I'm gonna line my lips with it first. It looks so cute. Hello. Guys, I actually really love this lip color right now. You can ask anybody in my life when the last time they saw me with a dark lip was. I literally have no idea. I've been wearing nude lipstick so, so, so much. But I am loving this color. I feel like so like... I think I should be smizing. I think it's still drying because it's a little bit sticky, but it's so comfortable. My lips don't feel like crusty or anything. And like a lot of the liquid lipsticks, I've been wearing lipsticks like only lately. My lips have been so dry. I hate, oh, I hate saying that I, like I don't like liquid lipsticks anymore because they're just so matte. Like my lips are too dry for a matte lip. Like, it's so comfortable. Like, I don't feel like they're drying at all. And I forgot to put chapstick on, so that tells you a lot. So the top one is Best of Me. The bottom one is Pink Panther. Guys, this is the end of the video. This is the final look. I used the brow pencil, the setting powder, and then the lip. And I am in love. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please, please, please go and click the link down below or follow their Instagram and go get yourself something. Don't miss out. Get it before it blows up and you can't get your hands on it anymore. But you heard it here first. It is amazing. All of the products looked so good on. They feel so good. It might be my first time using the brow and the lip. I will tell you this is like one of the best feeling matte liquid lipsticks I've ever used. And the brow product, like you guys saw it with your own eyes. It took me 15 seconds to get my brows on. Subscribe if you haven't already and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.